In this video, we'll be learning how to find the median value in a list of numbers. Now, we'll be seeing that whether we have an even amount of numbers or an odd amount of numbers will make the method slightly different. So we'll be seeing each of these two methods here, and we'll illustrate these with two examples. So let's consider this first example, example one. Let's say we're given the list of numbers 8, 21, 4, 6, 10, 3, and 0. Now when we're looking for the median value, the first thing we must always do is to rewrite the numbers in increasing order, meaning we have to rewrite this list starting from the smallest number and finishing with the largest number. So looking at these numbers here, we can go ahead and rewrite this. Looking at the smallest one first, that would be 0, followed by 3, followed by 4, followed by 6, 8, 10, and last but not least, 21. Now, in this case, we have an odd amount of numbers. And let's just check that. We can see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 values. Now, what the median value is, is the middle value. In other words, it's the value which is, which is sitting right in the middle of our data, meaning that 50% of our data is greater than that value, and the other 50% is less than that value. So looking at this, we can see that now that we've written, in this, written this data in increasing order, we can see that the middle value is 6. And we can therefore state our answer and say that the median is equal to 6. And there we go. We have just found the median of this list of numbers. Let's see how this works when we have an even number of values. So I'll just write example 2 here. Let's consider the following list of numbers. 4, 12, 13, 1, 8, 4, 11, and 3. Now again, to find the median, the first thing we have to do, remember, is to rewrite this list starting from the smallest number and finishing with the biggest number. So we're rewriting it in increasing order. So let's go ahead and do that. The smallest number we see here is 1, so that would be 1. Next one would be 3, 4, and there's another 4 there. We have to write it anyway, even though we've written it once. If there are two 4s in the list, write two 4s in the second list. The next one would be 8, followed by 11, followed by 12, and finally we have the number 13. Now, in this case, we have an even amount of numbers. That is, we have, remember, the even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. Now, we can see that we have an even amount. Let's just check that. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 values. So, yeah, we definitely have an even amount of numbers here. Now, in this case, there's no middle value, per se. And we can see this because the middle would be somewhere here, right in between the fourth and the fifth term. And this is confirmed by the fact that we have four values here and four values here. So the middle is definitely in between that four and that eight. So what we do in this case to find the median is we calculate the mean of the two middle values, meaning there are actually two middle values in this case, which are four and eight. And so the median will be equal to 4 plus 8 divided by 2. That leads us to 12 divided by 2, which is equal to 6. And finally, below this, we can state that the median is equal to 6. And there we have it. We've just shown how to calculate the median of a list of numbers when there's an odd number of values as well as when there's an even number of values.